Hi, it's Prue from Southern Satin. I'm back again. Um, I've been away for a while, but I decided today to get back into the swing of things. A minute ago, I made some soap uh, for the first time since April, and it was just a test batch, thank God, because as some of you soapers know, when you get back into it after not soaping for a few months, crazy stuff happens. So I forgot to put the fragrance in the biggest part of the soap. I discovered at the end of the soap that I didn't put the super fat in. I forget about it, but no big deal. It was just a test batch and I'll use the soap myself. Um, but what I'm getting ready to do right now is just a remake of my Egyptian musk from Save on Scents. And um, I don't sell Egyptian musk regularly. It's not on my website, but I do remember last summer when I had some of these bars at a, at a street fair that I was working, it did well. So I plan to do another street fair at the end of August, so I'm gonna make this and it'll be ready by then. And this, I've tried Egyptian musk from a few different places and to me, Save One Sense has the most true Egyptian musk smelling fragrance. However, like a lot of their fragrances, it's a fast mover. So. I wouldn't recommend this if you want to do swirls and stuff, but I don't plan on doing that. I'm just going to do a gold drizzle on the top with 14 karat gold mica from Nature's Garden Candles. So, as long as I can quickly get it into the mold, I'm good. So let's get soaping. I already have my coconut milk in here buzzed up a little. Oh, and I'm soaping at about 85 degrees. Nice if I had my light solution here with me. Okay, just a second. <clears throat> and my cat needs to get out of my way. Okay. And again, my light solution has a little yellow tinge to it because I've started using a little bit of coconut water in my light solution. And you probably hear my air conditioner running because it is a very hot and humid day here in New York City today. Very hot. Okay. Let just buzz up a little bit. Don't want it to be too thick. There are mosquitoes flying around. Super fat now before I forget. Move. What does a net or a mosquito or what? And this is a raw shea butter, that's why you might see little particles. I just buy the real raw shea butter from a, one of my local African shops here in Brooklyn. this fragrance in, I'm going to just mix a little bit of the gold mica to drizzle on the top. Just with a little bit of olive oil. Just touch. Because you don't need a lot, as you all probably know. A, lot, a little bit goes a long way with those drizzles. It's 
pretty color though. Can't really see too well, I guess. Okay. Now, gotta be quick. I'm gonna put the fragrance in and pour it in the mold. Smells so good. And I'm not even going to stick blend it. Just going to stir it really well. You can feel it getting thick. But I soaked at a cooler temperature, so it's not as bad as it was when I first started using this and I was when I was soaping at like one one ten. Okay, let me pour it. Wait. Make sure it's blended. But I don't want to stick blend it. I don't think that'll be pushing it. Okay, I'm tap it down a little bit before I decorate the top. Let me go over to another table. I think it'll be fine. I don't usually have a problem with, with air bubbles in my soap. I don't know. Just don't. This is a lot more. Maybe I should wait for it to set up something. Nah, I'll just do a flat top. Actually, I am going to wait for the setup a little bit. It's, it's way too thin. Let me pause you. Okay, I just waited five minutes and it's set up a little better. So, I even added some more on the top. So, let me go ahead and put some more of this gold on here and give it a figure eight swirl.
that's good enough. Okay, there you have it. That's my Egyptian musk soap. Catch me on the cut. Hey, I'm back now to cut my Egyptian musk soap. There it is. And it cracked a little down the center. And it's so funny because it, it's been so hot, I didn't want to put my oven on to see pop it. And I normally see pop all my soaps because I don't like partial gels. But I didn't feel like putting on my oven, so I, um, I put it in a box, a cardboard box, and then I set the cardboard box on top of a heating pad. And my son was like, that's never going to work. Actually worked too well. It got, it's cracked now. But I'm sure it's fine. Just a small crack. has been 24 hours. Here it comes. Okay. Ooh, it's soft though. Oof. Yeah, I really gotta stop cutting my soaps before two days because I don't like when it's so soft. The end piece. No, there was no design or anything. I just did the, um, the mica drizzle on top. So, so they're all going to look the same. One more. Okay. There you have it. My Egyptian musk soap. Thank you for watching.